All right, as you've noticed, uh, hello there. I haven't been saluting in and out. Sheesh, just making a whole bunch of these. Just trying to, like I said, rehearse this book for my real audiobook back here. Um, the real book. I, I, you're not real. Um, <clears throat> let's see how succinct I can be. I have five sentences to read. Ready? This is true. Hopefully it'll be my shortest one. The Tao. Written by me. The Tao. Tao. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I spell like a D-A-O too. Let me just say it. Here we go. I'm sorry. Start at the beginning here. The Tao. The Tao is nature. With a capital N. The Tao is our path in life. The Tao is our way of traveling our path. The Tao is the natural way that reality unfolds or reacts. The Tao is different for each of us because each of us have a different awareness of it. Yeah, two people in the same place will experience it even differently. So there it is. Now that was a whole lot of stuff and it probably just went Pfft. I said, oh, that was cute, that was clever, but there's a packed a book of information right into that thing. And, and since this is so quick, and I've only done a minute and 29 seconds, hey, let's spend a little more time on this real fast. Okay, the Tao is nature. Okay, I did it with a capital N, and I mean Mother Nature, however you want to get it. You can get a little, don't, don't get too fruity, you know, or, I mean, too silly, and, and, and try to get all ghost and spiritual, I don't know, but nature. Just the fact that nature exists on this planet. There's a nature that exists on the planet of Mars. It's just the harmony. It's the existence of how all the chemistry interacts. It's kind of like being in a, a bowl of soup that's constantly moving. You know, that nature, you know, of whatever's happening in that bowl of soup. <laughs> that's the nature. Here. Anyway, the Tao is nature. Okay, so whatever's happening around us, that's nature. The, and that's why people get all screwy as they start trying to unpack that, but don't. Just leave it alone. The Tao is our path in life. Okay, remember you're in that big soup? Well now, your Tao, your Tao, not my Tao, your Tao becomes your path through that soup. And that's your Tao. So you got whatever's around you, and now you've got you traveling through it. Okay? And there's two important ingredients. That's your reality. It's, it's, it exists and then you're traveling, which changes your reality. There's different pieces of, of chunks of soup you're going to run into if you go that direction. Maybe there's more chunks of meat if you go this way. <laughs> in bowl of soup. All right. Um, uh, hopefully not being cooked. Okay, number three. The Tao is our way of traveling our path. Okay, now remember I said you're in that bowl of soup. Didn't I? I've never used this analogy before, so let's just run with it, see what happens. Okay, so anyway, um, you're in this bowl of soup. Now you're in this... You're, you're traveling. Maybe it's a straight line. Maybe it's a zigzag. That doesn't even matter. But that's your path, whatever your path is, okay? Now, the Tao is your way of traveling that path, okay? Now, some people have a different way. In other words, they want to go in a straight line, okay? And they're going to burrow through whatever it takes. Some people, their way is to be more fluid and go around the obstacle. Other people's way, maybe to always go over the obstacles. Other people's way, maybe to burrow under. And whatever it is, you have a way of dealing with reality and traveling your path. Okay, so we got three dynamics now. The reality, your traveling, and how you're traveling. But the why, the, the why, you are the why. Okay, the Tao is the natural way that reality unfolds and reacts. Okay, so now, here's the soup. You're traveling. You got your way of traveling. Now, what's the soup going to do to you? Because you're not going to go unnoticed. You know, you're bumping into stuff and pushing soup aside. So the soup is going to react to you. Now, if you went in a straight line, it might react to you differently than if you travel in a zigzag line. You know, it's going to react differently. So the Tao, like I said, two people getting to the same destination, destination may experience reality completely different depending on how they travel. If one guy's on a bicycle and the other guy's in a limousine, they're going to travel maybe the same road, but they're going to experience it differently because the way they are traveling, see? See, it all makes sense. That's all. The Taoism is just sensible. But it just gives you another way to look at it. So just let's just follow along here. Number five. The Tao is different for each of us because each of us have a different awareness of it. Okay, so we've got it. You're in there. 
You're traveling. You got your own way of traveling. It's reacting to you. And then what is your awareness of all this that's happening? The reaction, what you're bumping into, everybody's different. If two people were riding bicycles down the street at the same time, they may react to things different. One person may get more scared than the other. One person may find it cold and chilly, or maybe they didn't prepare for it another way, or maybe, who knows. And the two people in that limousine, if they were even traveling the same path, their awareness of what's going on. Somebody else might be, one person might be looking out the window, and the other person might be reading a book. So their awareness of their path totally changes, which is why I say don't wear headphones. Don't walk around with those earbuds in your life. You're absolutely eliminating the doubt. You're like shutting off, you're like putting, don't do it. Just don't do it. I, I mean, unless you're learning that song, and that song is more important than whatever's going on in reality, don't listen to music when you're walking around. I mean, listen to my music. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> but seriously, you can't, you're, you're tuning out to reality, your awareness. That's a, that last one, your awareness of where you're going. Now, the, the way it's unfolding, you're not aware of. The way that you're traveling is going to be the simplest way to accommodate your headphones and your lack of understanding of what's going on. And your path in life is based on not being aware of it so that your the Tao of nature hasn't changed, but your relationship. Did that make sense? I took the five sentence shortest page on this whole book probably, and I made it six minutes. Well, that's kind of what I was aiming at.